More likely, however, these are reflections of possible objects within the plane's cockpit reflecting against the glass. This would likely be a camcorder positioned inside the cockpit with possible additional reflective catches of a Gentex MBU-23P pilot respirator mask. Following these possibilities, we must now consider this footage is taken from inside a military jet and not commercial airliner. Well, one such craft exists that has an interior mounted camera. The NASA F-18 variant, the NASA Chase F-18A. As seen here, the jet has a mounted camcorder behind the pilot seat, able to film starboard or port side without obstruction. In our video, we see what looks to be a jet wing filmed port side with empty missile wingtip pylons. Take a look at this cockpit view of an F-A-18 Super Hornet. The wing angle matches and so do the wingtip pylons. Okay, what about the audio of this footage? We can hear a loud muffling noise and possibly human voices within the video. I see two possibilities here. One, the footage features original sound recorded from the pilot, played back on a device, and re-recorded from the secondary camera recording the computer screen. The audio could be pure or combined with ambient background noise from the computer recording. Or two, ambient sounds from the screen recording location. Speculating on possibility two, the audio sounds extremely similar to the 2019 U.S. Navy filmed spherical-shaped UFO object going into water, posted by Jeremy Corbell, featuring ambient sounds from the USS Nimitz. Check out this comparison. Took off. Spoken. To think about possibility one, here's the ambient noise inside the cockpit of an F-A-18 Super Hornet and our footage. As one Reddit user pointed out, the audio waveform does not cut at second four of our video where there is a footage cut leading credence to the possibility that whatever we hear is in fact ambient noise of a ship where the screen recording was captured. Lastly, audio-wise, you might be able to hear faint voices in the background. This same Reddit user attempted to isolate the voices and here is what they came up with. I cannot even begin to guess what is being said. However, this does appear to be a female voice. Quickly, I wanted to brush over the craft depicted in this video. This UFO is almost identical to the saucer-shaped craft as described by Lieutenant Jacobs in his warhead shootdown footage. This craft also appears to be extremely similar to some of the most famous UFO photographs ever taken, the McMinnville photos. Notice the protrusion on top of the craft, which as described by Jacobs, is similar to half of a ping pong ball. This same upper protrusion is also seen in the McMinnville images. The craft here also flies at an angle, something seen in numerous saucer images and descriptions of saucer encounters. Controversial as he is, even Bob Lazar claimed the disc-shaped craft fly, quote, belly towards their destination. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Lastly, I want to talk about the most enigmatic connection to this case. In 2021 or 22, an alleged leaked classified military communications log made its way around the internet including a post on the ever-famous 4chan. 
Now everything from 4chan must be taken with a grain of salt. But these leaked comms are purportedly a page of a longer classified version of a UAP task force report prepared for Congress. Let's break down this comms log. The log details the cockpit voice recording of a fighter aircraft Club 1-1 during an interception directed by AWACS, Airborne Warning and Control System, call sign Brigham, which serves as a flying long-range radar and command center that provides tactical command services to units in their network. Think of eyes in the sky for fighter units. And lastly, BLK. Unclear what this is, they do not identify themselves, but they use NATO brevity language. The fighter is crewed by a pilot, PC, and weapons system operator, WSO, sitting in the back and managing some systems. Think back to the NASA Chase F-18A, the dual-seater. BLK is guiding them to intercept a bogey seen on radar. The fighter can't see this bogey initially, but at some point the WSO catches it in his radar and tells the pilot it's coming at them at 2,820 knots. Electronic countermeasures are activated and the crew is alerted that a missile has been launched at them or that they are being actively tracked by radar. This could have been done manually or automatic. The bogey gets so close that from BLK's point of view, both 